Peace beautiful family, this is Danielle and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this one Neville Garden exercise that I did and I manifested my desire in literally a day. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I did it and what Neville Garden exercise I use. Okay, so just stay tuned. I'm going to go through this video in a very, very practical way so that you understand how you can do this for yourself as well. Just wanted to let you guys know that I am a manifestation and mindset coach. I am also a certified EFT practitioner. If you would like to know anything about what I do, any courses that I offer, or any information about my one-on-one -on -one coaching, please check the description box down below. Number one, I want you to understand that you're not wrong for wanting your desires there's no right or wrong way to manifest. Things are always going to work out in the way that you assume that they're going to work out. So whether you use techniques, whether you want to do exercises, whatever you choose to do, you make the rules. It's your reality to create, okay? Now, I took my desire off the pedestal. I wasn't really concerned about when it was going to happen. I truly desired it, so I didn't let it go. But I understood that whether it happened or not, I wasn't going to really care either way. That's a very key thing that I think a lot of people miss when it comes to truly instantly manifesting or manifesting things fairly quickly. Is that you have to have the balance of, I truly desire to have this, I have a deep desire to have it. However, if it comes, that's great. If it doesn't, then I will still be okay. Neediness is what is to be avoided in my opinion when it comes to manifesting things it comes from a state of i don't have where is it all the things that you're thinking about where is my manifestation how come it's not here those things are counterproductive to really truly helping you to manifest things the way that neville teaches you which is using the path of least action he talks about this and i will Put the quote or the link up to the video that I speak about him speaking on the path of least action. But there is really literally nothing that you have to do once you have made a decision that your desire is yours. You don't even have to lift a finger. The fact that you already have the desire and that you can either visualize it or you can use inner conversations to speak about it, to daydream about it, that means that that desire is already yours, okay? I did this in a very relaxed state, which brings me to one of my other key points in manifesting effortlessly and getting this exercise to work for you. Your subconscious mind is going to impress a lot faster when you are in a relaxed state. This is something that has been scientifically proven that your brain waves slow down when you are relaxed. Or your brain is more susceptible to impressions. You're able to bypass your conscious mind and go straight to the subconscious, which is where we want to go. We want to go there. We want to program your subconscious with the suggestions and with the impressions and the images that are going to get you your manifestation. So this is what I did. Have you guys heard of the technique? It's called, I will not climb this ladder or I will not climb the ladder. Now, when Neville did this with his students, what he was trying to prove to them from my understanding of reading his text is that it doesn't matter whether you say something negative or positive, if you fall asleep in the assumption that something is what you say it is, you're going to be able to manifest that because your subconscious mind is a very faithful and obedient companion. It literally just gives you more of what you saturate your mind with. So even saying I will not do something, his students still ended up seeing a ladder, having to climb a ladder, or seeing someone else climb a ladder. So I decided to take this exercise a step further and I wanted to manifest money out of the clear blue. So I just started with 50 bucks and I already have $50 in my bank account. So it wasn't something that I was necessarily looking to, to get either way. However, I truly wanted that $50 because I wanted to just use it to buy like my favorite food, sushi, not have to come out of my pocket to pay for my Sephora makeup. And this is the exercise is to say, I will not manifest 
and then insert your desire. So you could say, I will not manifest reconciliation with my specific person. I will not manifest an extra thousand dollars of income this month. I will not climb the ladder. What you're doing is you're proving to yourself that even if you persist or assume something to be true for you in the state akin to sleep, as you're falling asleep or in a super drowsy, relaxed state, your subconscious mind is impressing no matter what. You're triggering your subconscious mind to find a reason to make what you're saying to be true. So saying that I will not do something in return, you're impressing your subconscious mind to actually find a way for it to come true. This is insane, guys. I did this with $50, and I'm going to show you guys the proof. Literally, somebody just PayPal'd me $50, just out of the blue, for no reason at all. And I've done this a handful of times since I figured out that I could do it with the I will not exercise from Neville Goddard. Please try this for yourself as you're falling asleep. And you guys let me know down below if this actually works for you. An assumption persisted in whether it's negative or true, it will still come to pass. Okay? So wherever you guys are, I want you to have a beautiful day. Peace.